body bags were whore lies. Oh, W Doubles at you again. Another week on the body bags. First review of 2017 for me. Um, coming in with some ultra cheese I watched early this morning, and that is from Dental Law Productions, The Catcher. Um, notable star Joe Estevez. Um, film opens uh, Johnny McIntosh. Uh, a young Johnny McIntosh playing baseball with his father, played by Joe Estevez. And his father is really abusive and crazy. Um, his performance is easily the best performance of the movie. Highly entertaining. Uh, just over the top, pretty much doing his best Sam Kinison uh, impression. Just screaming the whole movie. Uh, Joe Estevez. <laughs> but anyways, <clears throat> he said and he plays the abusive father that obviously kind of warped Johnny. Um, but he grows up and ends up being a minor league baseball star. And uh, <clears throat> he's kind of going through some t turmoil with his teammates. who are kind of uh, heckling him and blaming him, you know, being down on him, blaming him for some of their losses and that kind of shit. And, uh, oh yeah, notable, um, his father that ended up was really abusive. He ended up killing him. So, yeah, so obviously the kid's got some psychotic, traumatic uh, stress from his childhood so yeah when he's growing up uh, and like I said he's having turmoil with his teammates and shit just kind of hits the fan from there um, I guess a decent little twist on the storyline the mystery killer kind of thing maybe but uh, <clears throat> really basic storyline I think it's kind of interesting premise not not too shabby um, it had this movie suffers from a lot of technical issues a lot of just the camera work, lighting, really bad lighting on a good 50% of the movie, like too dark, um, you know, not the dark kind of atmospheric stuff, just dark, you can't see what's going on, poorly lit uh, scenes, um, definitely with the technical difficulties. Uh, the kills are pretty fun in this, they're not super gory or anything, but uh, decent amount of blood and the semi-creative with the kills, I think they're pretty fun what they are very uh, uh, homemade kind of Z budget kind of uh, effects going on in this one but fun stuff um, really generic soundtrack there again just overall just a really generic slasher just really run of the mill um, it kind of just for me it had a little bit of charm and entertainment value just from the being so bad it's good kind of way um, but I can't really give this one a too high review. I'd probably have to give it like a 4 out of 10 overall. Like I said, uh, there is some kind of charm there. Uh, so if you're into some low budget slashers, maybe give this one a shot. I said, uh, Joe Estevez's performance and uh, I guess the semi interesting premise <clears throat> makes this one for a pretty fun time. But I said, uh, just really low quality over the. Um, if the technical issues were worked out, I would give this one a higher review. That's, the stuff just uh, really took away from the watch, and the fluidity of the movie really suffered because of it. But, uh, low budget cheese, the catcher, first review of 2017. So, till next week, y'all. Peace.